Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna show you how you can use a Windows Sandbox. Unfortunately, we're not going to be building any sandcastles today, but we are going to be doing something that's pretty useful. Have you ever received a file, or maybe you wanted to install an application, but you don't quite trust it? With Windows Sandbox, you can install that app, or you could open that file on a completely separate computer. Instead of being a separate physical computer, it's a separate virtual computer. Once you're all done with it, you can close it and whatever you did on it is completely gone. Once you open up Windows Sandbox again, you have a completely new and fresh install of Windows 10. Now, there are two caveats before we jump into it. To be able to do this, you need Windows 10 Professional or Enterprise. And also, there are some system requirements, but I took a quick glance at them. And as long as you have a somewhat recent computer, you'll likely qualify. All right, well, why don't we jump on the PC and let's look at how we can create our very own Windows Sandbox. Once again, to be able to use Windows Sandbox, you need either Windows 10 Professional or Enterprise. If you don't know what you have, it's very easy to find out. Simply go down to your taskbar in the search field and here let's type in system information. Once you type in system information, you'll see the best match for system information. Let's click on this. This opens up system information and under system summary over here, you can see your OS name. If you have Windows 10 Home, unfortunately you can't use the sandbox. If you're interested in upgrading from Windows 10 Home to professional, it's extremely easy to do. Simply go down to your taskbar and within the search field, type in activation settings. Here we see the best match option. Let's click on this. This opens up the activation screen and with Windows 10 Home, you'll see an option that takes you to the Windows store to upgrade. It's $99 to upgrade from home to professional. Now you might be thinking, is it worth doing that? Do I just get the sandbox? Well, you get the sandbox, but you also get several other features. For example, you get remote desktop, which allows you to control other PCs. You could also encrypt your hard drive using BitLocker, and you could also set up more advanced virtual machines using Hyper-V. So you really get a lot more power user type features. Okay, with all of that out of the way, let's say that you have Windows 10 Professional or Enterprise and you wanna start using the sandbox. Unfortunately, we have to do a few things before we can start using it. It's not turned on by default. To turn it on, once again, let's go down to the taskbar and here this time let's type in turn Windows features on and off. Here you'll see the best match option. Let's click on this. This opens up a prompt with a ton of Windows features. Some of them are turned on and some of them are turned off. The ones with a check mark are currently turned on. If we scroll pretty much all the way down this list, you'll see an option for Windows Sandbox. Let's make sure that this is checked on and then let's click on OK. If this is your first time doing it, you'll likely also have to restart your computer. Now that we have Windows Sandbox enabled, it's time to start using it. Right here on my desktop, I have a file from Adele. Vance. She's a recently departed employee at the Kevin Cookie Company, and she didn't exactly leave on the best of terms. She sent me a file called Outstanding Customer Orders. If it turns out there are orders in here, well, I need to know about it because we need to start fulfilling them right away. But here, if I hover over the file, you'll see that it's a VB script file. I do not trust opening that on my computer. Let's try opening that in the Windows Sandbox, and if it turns out it's malicious, I'll just close it. To launch the Windows Sandbox once again, and yes, I feel like I've been saying this a lot today, let's go down to the taskbar in the search field, and here let's type in Windows Sandbox. Here again, you'll see the best match. Let's click on this. Check that out. This now opens up our very own virtual machine, or basically a sandbox. When I click on the start menu, you'll see that it only has the default apps installed. I haven't yet included any applications. Here, if I click on File Explorer, if I click into Downloads or Documents or Pictures, you'll see here too, I haven't added any files yet. In a sense, this is a completely fresh install of Windows 10. Now, once again, I wanna see what's contained within this file that Adele sent me. I can move files back and forth between the sandbox. Here, I'll click on the Outstanding Customer Orders file and I can press Control C to copy. Next, when I click in my sandbox, I can press Control V to paste and here you see that it moved the file over. And now I could run the file and anything that happens will be isolated to this window. Let's go ahead and click on the file and see are there orders or is it something more malicious than that? Here, if I click on the file, oh, check that out, you got pwned. I now own your machine, ha 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 ha, no cookies for you. Typical management at the Kevin Cookie Company. 
clueless about technology. Little does Adele know that I was using a virtual machine. Let's click on OK here. I don't know what else the script did to my computer, but it's probably safer if I just close this virtual machine. Right up here, I'll click on the X to close it out. When I click on the X, I get a message from Windows Sandbox telling me that once I close it, everything contained within will be discarded and permanently lost. Well, that's a good thing. I don't want this file polluting my computer, so let's click on OK. Phew, I really think I dodged a bullet there. Down below on the taskbar, once again, let's type in Windows Sandbox. Here again, let's launch the Windows Sandbox. This once again launches the Windows Sandbox, and here now you'll see that that file that I copied over no longer exists. This is, once again, a completely fresh install of Windows 10. So I can install apps, I could load in files, and as soon as I close it, all that disappears, and once I reopen it, I'm right back to square one. Now that I tested that file, the one thing that Adele had right is management at the KCC is pretty clueless about technology. And before someone else is tempted to run this file, I should probably go up to it and just delete it off my computer just to be safe. All right, if you now know how to build your very own Windows Sandbox, please give this video a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you wanna see me cover any other topics on this channel, leave a note down below. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.